What's up, Raiders? Welcome to Raid Today for Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. I'm Gestel from Gestel Gaming, and the Emic Trunk Heart Fusion is here. The schedule is a bit interesting, to say the least, so we're going to discuss all that plus more here on Raid Today. All right, we did get the schedule out this uh, morning, and when I first saw it, I was like, wow, this looks really easy. <laughs> um, and it's really easy because you pretty much can't miss anything. Uh, we're going to take a look at this very sophisticated diagram I created. Um, <laughs> you've got uh, four times uh, four gives you 16 of the events that you need to do to get 100 for each one of these epics so you get 25 uh, fragments per tournament or event um and you obviously have to do that four times does that make sense it looks pretty easy uh i i mean easy in the sense that you there's not like a choice where you're basically going to have to skip something or not skip something, or can you save here, or do you need to, are you getting extra fragments from winning tournaments or something like that? This is straightforward. Either you do all of them, or they're having a summon rush right here in the middle um, where you can get 50 fragments for uh fire gun is bill now this is interesting right this is the interesting part um first thing that came to my mind is like all right so if you're getting 50 here for this summon rush that means you can skip this summon rush and this champion chase tournament um now that might not be the best move for everybody uh, for obvious reasons, the Champion Chase Tournament, you have the opportunity to use champs that you might be have sitting in your fragments or uh, summon that you might be waiting to summon um, through the fragments or like an Arbiter, whatever it might be. You might be hanging out to Mithraler, Lydia, Romantu, whatever it is. Um, champ Chase is built for that, and you can get a lot of points just from uh, stuff that you've acquired over time. Uh, whereas Summon Rush, and these are both Summon Rushes, uh, the first one here and then the 50 pointer here, uh, that's based on how many shards you actually pull. Uh, how many, how many iron shards, gold shards you pull, how many voids you're getting points based on the shards you're pulling. 500 for, it doesn't matter what you, what you pull, it matters the shard that you pull. So you're getting 500 points for the gold shards, uh, and whatever goes down the line, I think it's 150 for epics and like 20 for ancient and one for mystery. So you need to know you're going to have enough shards and we've never had an event like this in the middle of the week. So my, my opinion or my opinion on this would be don't, don't miss the summon rush this weekend thinking that this is going to be the way to go. Uh, and it turns out to be really difficult. Or <laughs> they don't even have like some sort of 10x or something going on during this weekend. I don't know what, or this midweek one. Yeah, uh, like I'm sure they'll have something going on, but it just seems very, uh, it's just an unknown. It's something we haven't seen before. So I don't want to recommend anyone doing something that I don't really know what it's going to be like. Uh, so I would recommend going for the summon rush that starts tomorrow on Friday, August 4th. Um, and then if this looks very easy to obtain those 50, uh, maybe it's split up 25 and 25. That's what I mean. It's an unknown. Um, maybe you can snag 25 here and skip the champ chase, or you could skip the dungeon divers or two of the dungeon divers. If you go for this, if you have just a ton of shards, whatever the case may be, um, my recommendation would be wait and see do or not wait and see. Do the summon rush this weekend, and we'll wait and see what it looks like on Tuesday, to, if this is going to be good or not. 
Um, that's my recognition. I'm going to be doing it on both my accounts. I'm going to be pulling shards uh, tomorrow for sure on both accounts. Just get this thing rolling. MX too good of a champion. Avoid HP legendary base, legendary champion. Uh, it's too good to miss. So, I don't know. I thought it was funny to make this chart. <laughs> it's unnecessary. But it, uh, it basically outlines the fact that um, they're giving you uh, 16 shots at getting 16 different set of frag uh, fragments uh, to get four of the fire gun as a bills to then fuse into Emic. So it started. All right. So now that it's started, what does that mean? What do we have to do today? Let's dive into the game. So starting today, and if we if you look back at yesterday's video. I think someone predicted what would start today. This guy. Um, Dragon Tournament is the first one. I only speculated that because we just hadn't had a Dragon Tournament in like a week and a half. So it seemed like that would be the one that would go there. Uh, so Dragon Tournament is live. I've already done a little bit of this. I am on the free-to-play account. I'll probably be on my free-to-play account um, throughout this uh, the raid todays during the Fusion. Because I feel like this is the one I... like. If you're a free-to-play player, uh, this is like the account that's going to show you where uh, you can have progressed to um, based on being completely free-to-play player. And I'm going to be keeping up with this really closely because uh, this this account needs it significantly more than my main account does. But my main account definitely is going for it as well. So I'll be going for it on both. I'll be working on it on my stream for the next two weeks. So if you want to come by the stream... Twitch.tv slash Gaming. would love to see you there. Um, so I've got, uh, I've got the first two levels here. Love doing Dragon. Great gear for any account. Got that speed gear, so always farming it. Um, farming that in Spider pretty much always on this account. Champ training starts tomorrow. Keep an eye out for that one. Uh, this is typically much easier than the champion training event. The champion training tournament is normally a lot easier, but you got to do it. So we will check that out when it drops tomorrow. And Dungeon Divers, that was the other one I said would probably start today. That coincides nicely with dragons. Might as well get the points as you're getting the dragon points. Uh, 3,700 seems a bit high. Uh, I guess that's what we're going to have to expect on the other three. That's why I say maybe those would be the ones you skip if you do that midweek summon rush. Um, dungeon Tires is just always frustrating. It seems like you always have to do more dungeons than... or Yeah, more run more dungeons than what you would be doing for uh, like the Dragon Tournament or whatever tournament's going on at the time. Normally it overlaps like two of the tournaments and you still don't get there. So, you know, even having gotten the fragments for both those tournaments. So that's, I think that's why people get frustrated by this one. At least that's why I get frustrated by it. But just keep on top of it. Don't you worry. We're all going to get the Emic if you're trying hard. And if you're watching the show, <laughs> tell your friends. The, uh, so that's what we're going on for the tournaments and the events. And that's the only tournaments and events. All of the tournaments and events right now are surrounding... Uh, the fusion and uh, you know i think that's what you should be laser focused on right now that's what uh this champion is great man that's what it's all about getting getting the best champs you can so the only other news that really came out today uh oh by the way also the dungeon uh the dragon uh tournament is also coinciding with a super raids so it makes it makes you helps you make the uh, dungeon die or the dragon tournament a little bit easier, uh, you know. Get your two for one runs in. Obviously, costs uh, double the energy, but um, it just makes things quicker. And that's how I've run through all my saved energy so far <laughs> on both accounts, just because it goes. It just seems to go so fast. Um, but let's look at the other news we had out today, and that is the actual release of 7.4 now no re nothing no real news here to take away from uh, the actual patch notes for the release we looked at this the other day uh, basically uh, hydro clash is coming there's nothing new here 
Um, the quick battle feature, nothing new here. It does not say anything about being full auto this time. Uh, let me know if you're manualing the first couple uh, steps to your clan boss, Demon Lord clan boss run, and then autoing it. At, let me know if that quick battle is actually popping up for you. Uh, my main account, I've already got, unlocked the quick battle, and I tell you, it's awesome. It's so fast. Man, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna save a lot of time for sure. Uh, and then obviously the new CVC tournament objectives are posted here. Uh, the rebalance to the Hydra gear sets, the protection, and the um, and the stone skin. Uh, we already know all of this. Nothing new. The only real thing that was new out of here is they've added new champion lore. Um, some cool ones right off the top. I saw Harima. I saw uh, there's Harima. Um, now the Zebia Bellinor combo. Got Draco, got uh, Gofried and Aleel. So some cool ones, Shamrock and Krila. Some of the, uh, some of the, looks like some of the older school uh, Legos they got in there, Crypt King. So that's neat. I'm glad to see that they're keeping up with the lore. Uh, so a bunch more in there. Um, and then some other improvements, some bugs fixes. Uh, there's a whole lot of little things here. Uh, I don't think anything of major note. Um, other changes when multiple identical visual effects. Yeah, like just minor stuff here. So 7.4 is live. If you go into your account, you will see the quick battles option is there. Now, this is my free to play account. I have not unlocked it. I don't even have a key to show you, but uh, the they are in there. <laughs> you can take a look at them. Um, if you've unlocked it, as I have on my main account, it is super sweet, uh, super fast. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do that on my free to play account. I do not one key it, nor is it full auto. So that'll come in time, maybe with trunk car. We will see. But best of luck to all of you going for the fusion, uh, stop by here every day. We're going to make sure you're going to keep up with everything you need to know how to get this fusion. Emic trunk heart is awesome. You got to get them. I would not say that about most. I said it about Newt. I will say it about him. But uh, there are plenty that I feel like are easy skips as well. So, But this one, certainly not. Make sure you are laser focused to get a trunk heart. And we will be back tomorrow to keep you on pace and make sure you're going to get them. I hope you have a great evening. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.